Okay, August 6th. A couple things today. The first one is that in 1850, uh, Millard Fillmore announced that he would support the Compromise of 1850. Uh, this compromise was drafted by uh, Stephen Douglas of Illinois and Henry Clay. Um, it was trying to get around adding territories, but restraining slavery, but not killing slavery at that time. It was trying to be a compromise between the, North, the interests of the North and the South and the new territories. So some of the key provisions of the Compromise of 1850 were admitting California as a free state, allowing Utah and New Mexico to decide for themselves if they wanted to allow slavery, and um, making the slave trade in Washington, D.C. illegal. Um, it did not uh, make slavery illegal, but it made the, comp it made, um, the trade of slaves illegal in Washington, D.C. Uh, Miller and Fillmore was opposed to uh, slavery and wanted to get rid of it, but also felt that this compromise was the best chance to kind of move forward, keep the country together, and, um, and restrain slavery in the new states out in the West. So that's the first thing that happened today in 1850. Second thing that happened was in 1945, Harry Truman ordered the bombing of Hiroshima. So the first time we dropped an atomic bomb, uh, over 77,000 people were killed in the initial blast, uh, mostly civilians. And then by the end of 1945, due to the initial blast, um, the uh, burns and, and uh, radi exposure to radiation, the two bombs that were dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki killed um, 210,000 people by the end of 1945 and over 340,000 people within five years. So um, that's what I've got for you today. Uh, the Compromise of 1850 and the uh, bombing of Hiroshima. I'll see you tomorrow.